In this video, I'll show you three different ways that Adobe After Effects and Premiere work together so that you can efficiently add animated graphics to your video projects. Here I have a simple Premiere project with a few different clips in a sequence. Over in After Effects, I've animated some graphics that I want to bring into this project. You could render the animations from After Effects and import them as video files into Premiere, but there's a better way. You can bring compositions from After Effects directly into Premiere through what's called the dynamic link. So here's how to do that. First, I just like to create a folder to stay organized and keep all of my After Effects compositions in that folder. And then I'm just going to do Command or Control I and then navigate to the After Effects project file and hit import. From here, it'll bring up all the compositions in the After Effects project and then find the composition that you want and hit OK. In the project panel, you can see that that's imported this composition called title card and then you can just drag that into your sequence like any other kind of asset. And the best thing about this is that if you go back into After Effects and make any adjustments, you don't even need to save it, but Premiere will automatically make those adjustments. So this is a really flexible, time-saving way to work. You can access the dynamic link by doing Command or Control I like I did, or you can also go up to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, and then you can choose to create a new After Effects composition or import an existing one. Another option is to take layers from your Premiere sequence and move them into an After Effects composition. You can do this with multiple stacked layers, but for this example, I just have this one clip. To bring this into After Effects so that I can manipulate it there or add to it, you can right click on all of the selected layers you want to bring into After Effects and then go to Replace with After Effects Composition. Or you could also have those layers selected and go up to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, and then Replace with After Effects Composition. This will import those layers themselves and it will also create a new After Effects composition. This can be a useful way to manipulate clips themselves, like by adding effects to them. And you can also add graphics, text, and animations. You can even add additional compositions to the composition. This isn't the best looking example, but just for the sake of showing you how this works, if we go back into Premiere, you can see that that clip has been replaced by this After Effects composition, and all of the changes that I made to it are reflected here. And again, what's nice about this is that if you go back into After Effects and you change something about this composition and then go back into Premiere, those changes automatically happen in Premiere. Using these first two methods is great when you have a one-off use case where you need a specific text or graphic. But if you have multiple versions, like for a lower thirds or a title card, where you need the text to be different in each version, creating a motion graphics template or Mogurt will save you tons of time. Mogurts are created in After Effects by dragging properties you want to be customizable in Premiere into the Essential Graphics panel. Then you'll need to export the .mogurt file and save it somewhere on your computer. In Premiere, you can import the Mogurt. You'll need to go to the Graphics Templates panel. This used to be called Essential Graphics before the 2025 release, and then hit this plus button. From here, you can navigate to a folder and it will watch this folder for any new templates and import all of them automatically. So I'll just choose the entire folder. And then if I just check that one, you can see all of these templates and then I can just drag them into my sequence. Then if you select the Mogurt and go into the Properties panel, you can adjust any of the things that you set up to be customizable. While it's not as easy to go back and make changes to this template in After Effects, you'd have to resave the Mogurt, you should ideally be able to make all the necessary changes in Premiere. What's nice about this workflow is that this template will be available in all your Premiere projects now without ever having to import it again. So you can efficiently reuse the template and create different variations of an animated graphic as many times as you want. To learn more about creating custom motion graphic templates, check out my class Reusable Motion Graphics for Video, from Adobe After Effects to Premiere. Thanks so much for watching, until next time, happy animating.